The wood is finally off the wagon here, and man, does she look better than ever. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, my name is Garrett, and this is my 86 Wagoneer. Today I'll be talking about how I got the wood vinyl off of my Wagoneer, despite the two fenders, because these two guys up front are totally shot and they need to be replaced, so there wasn't any point in, review in removing the wood on the fenders. But anyways, let's take a quick look at the Wagoneer with no wood. Got to use your imagination for the fenders though, but look down the side and there is no wood. Excuse the junk in the garage. This is what the side looks like. Walk around to the back. No wood on the back. Did a little body work on the rear of the vehicle. And then the side, the side has been like this for quite some time now, but no wood on this side. So before I get into it any further, if you're new around here, definitely subscribe today. My name is Garrett and I upload a video every Sunday on my 86 Grand Wagoneer and I have a lot of plans for this Jeep over time so if you could do me a huge favor please subscribe down below today and give the video a like if you enjoy this type of content. So I've had the Jeep now for a little over a year and I've done quite a bit of body work to it. Obviously you can't see it on this side. Most of the work that I've done to the exterior of the body has been on the driver's side of the vehicle. But anyways, I've done quite a bit of body work to it. I've done a few engine maintenance items along with a few engine upgrades, but nothing totally drastic. The Jeep is pretty much the same as I bought it back in August of last year in 2020. But let me talk about how I got the wood off of the Jeep. I had borrowed an air compressor from my co-worker and when I had that air compressor it took me a, it was a ridiculous amount of time that I went into this. What I did was I used the air compressor and I used the tool. This is a die grinder that you can get at Menards or Home Depot or any sort of home improvement store. It's an air powered tool and then I got this attachment. It's called an eraser wheel. It's made of rubber. It's used for taking a sticker and vinyl off of a vehicle without scratching or damaging the paint. So you can really use it on any sort of vehicle. It does leave a little bit of residue behind, but if you keep wheeling at it like this, eventually the residue will come off or you can use some sort of residue remover like goof off or something like that. But I cannot tell you how long it took me going like this. It took me probably about, I don't know, probably a week straight to go around the whole vehicle. I got most of it off back in the winter time of last year in 2020. And then I kind of stopped. And then I eventually took off the rest of it, excluding the fenders, back in June or July of this year. So it took quite a bit of time. So if you're looking to remove the wood on your Grand Wagoneer and you don't want to damage the paint, try purchasing, I know it's not cheap at all, but if you want to do it yourself and save some money, um, the, the route would to go would definitely get yourself the biggest air compressor that will just plug into the wall without any sort of electrical outlet modification. I'll display the size tank I had right here on screen. I don't know off the top of my head, but that's the route that I would go because if you are looking to get yourself some new wood, um, do not apply brand new wood over the old existing wood. That's the incorrect way how to do it. It would just, you, you need a solid foundation. It's like you can't build a house without a cement foundation or a basement. You can't just build it you know, on the ground. You gotta start with a solid foundation, something that's not coming up already. So, and it's a great way to uh, do it. You know, using an eraser wheel is a great way because you won't damage the paint because if you don't need a new paint job, you know, if you're not looking to get into a full restoration 
and you just want new wood, this is definitely the way to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing down below today if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Again, I upload a new video every Sunday at 7 p.m. Definitely don't miss out on a wagon year upload. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. And I will catch you next time.